Hey there, YouTube. <sighs> Figured, uh, since I've been on the topic of paranormal stuff lately, that I'd, uh, you know, share some, uh, other ghost stories of mine and my wife. Get this lit and uh, get going. This one might be a little long. Got a few stories to share. And a pipe that won't stay lit. Start off with a quick one. This is a fairly recent one. Uh, my uh, friends moved in. A couple of my friends uh, moved into a new apartment together. And, uh, They've been having odd things happen, like uh, things falling over in the cabinets, you know, stuff that uh, stuff that shouldn't fall over. Like the like they'd have glasses and stuff fall over that would uh, be too heavy to be knocked over just by you know someone walking by or something. They'd have a electronics turn off and on just to, for no reason. And uh, so a couple of weekends ago, a couple of weekends ago, uh, then my wife and I over for dinner. And, uh, I was at the counter, uh, getting my, uh, getting my food, getting my plate together. And I feel... I feel a cat brush against my leg. Now, uh, there are no animals in this apartment. They have no pets at all. They don't even have any, you know... There are no animals in the house, park. So this happens, I turn around and I'm like, dude. And they're like, what? And I'm like, I just felt something brush against my leg. It felt like a cat. I felt like when my uh, cats are begging for food and I'm getting their food ready and they're rubbing against my legs is what exactly what it felt like. My wife had a uh, when I told her that she uh, she told me that uh, she'd been seeing uh, like a little animal of some sort out of the corner of her eye the entire time 
entire time we were there. So, uh, our friend's got a cat ghost. And, uh, it's nothing to worry about for them. Probably just a cat there just wandering through a Say like, hello, I'm here. And, uh, we haven't really had any activity in the in the new apartment, save for uh, what happened last night. But uh. In the old apartment, we had a quite a bit of stuff going on. There were some, a uh, lot of nature spirits. Uh, the apartment complex we used to live in was built right over a spring. So, uh, a lot of, lot of stuff there. And, uh, most of it was nice. Uh, we had, a. Uh, we had a bunch of nature spirits and stuff that just like to wander through and such. But, uh, we did have one that came through that required a, a, a full-blown uh, sage smudging and a cleansing and banishment ritual. That one was kind of creepy because my wife woke up in the middle of the night. She had she had this really vivid, creepy dream of a fox head floating outside the kitchen window of her mom's house. She was in her mom's house in the dream. And, uh... And woke up just like you could tell just like the energy in the apartment you could cut it with a knife it was that heavy and oppressive it was probably the strongest probably one of the strongest feelings I've ever had Say for a well, last night was pretty strong too because when I uh, when I got up after my cat was yowling I went over to where he was and like just hit you know right in the chest with just a heavy feeling and you know just kind of a sense of uneasiness. Back in the old apartment, too, we, uh, She had had a friend that had died recently, and she hadn't talked to him in years, and she was distraught about it that she not, didn't get to say goodbye, and, uh, he paid us a, he paid us a visit. And, uh, paid us a visit and it was like, he was saying, hey, we're still cool. Just because we haven't talked in a while, you know, doesn't mean I'm mad at you. So, uh, that kind of gave her a sense of, sense of closure in that situation. Dropping hot ash all over me. But, uh, those are the ones I can remember. Uh, well, you know... Uh, 
go down to my uh, parents' house in Oklahoma. They live in a they live in a small town called Pryor. Uh, prime Native American territory down there. There's Native American stuff all over. And uh, one of the last times we were down there, I believe it wasn't the last time because we were all sick. It was the year before that. We were laying in the bed and uh, trying to fall asleep and my wife is like, there's, there are people around the bed watching me. I'm like, yeah. My parents are a my parents are a, a Southern Baptist, and a, I don't I highly doubt that they believe in the paranormal. So uh, they have no uh, protections around the around their house. They have no wards or any sort of things set up so things can pretty much come and go, go as it please. And my little, my little siblings see things a lot. But one of them won't, to, one of them won't go into the back room without turning every single light on as he goes. And I don't blame him. That house is kind of If you're not used to this stuff, you know, that house is kind of creepy at night. And, uh, back to the story, uh, it was, uh, it happened that it was a bunch of, a uh, Native American, uh, it was, it was, uh, Native American presence that was with us that night. We didn't, uh, we didn't boot him out, we just put up shields around us so we could sleep, you know. It's a bunch of, na bunch of Native American dudes, they're cool. Yeah. It's like a two sensitives in the same room together. It was like a beacon in that neighborhood, you know. It's like, hey, these people are here and they can see us. Holy crap. I had smoke pipes, it doesn't surprise me, you know. I think he's a pipe smoker and he's a sensitive, so it's like a hmm. Might get along with this guy. And uh, my wife is still kind of leery about stuff. She is a uh, She's a hell of a lot more sensitive than I am. So, uh, you know, when she was little, she had, she had, you know, she had, uh, the issues of, a uh, hey, cricket. <laughs> but she'd, uh, wake up sometimes to, you know, a bunch of people standing at, you know, a bunch of, you know, spirits and stuff, people uh, standing at the end of the end of her bed watching her. That kind of, kind of creeped her out when she was little. I think that's probably part why I uh, don't scare easily when it comes to paranormal stuff. I haven't 
I haven't yet had to deal with anything big and nasty, but you know, the pot, the, that's, that possibility is always there. I'll, uh, I'll go into more personal details about paranormal stuff on a later video. I'm already at 15 minutes of my, uh, my attention span is, uh, on its, uh, on its last little burning filament. So, uh, share any, uh, paranormal stories you have, uh, leave, leave comments, video replies are awesome, too. And, uh, take care and keep your stick on the ice.